Now, I don't know about you, Rowan. I suspect you're the same, but quite often the question on my mind is when are we going to understand whales? <laughs> it's always on my mind, yeah. <laughs> um, so we have talked about sperm whales, specifically communication, before on the pod and the proposal that uh, they have this clicking sound system and that that is in fact a language, not just a load of old clicks. Yeah. And now it seems that not only that it's some kind of language, uh, but they have vowels that are used in a, a way that is similar to human language language. Yeah. So let's hear a little clip of that language again. So there's all sorts going on in just that short clip. Yeah. Um, the whole thing is called a coda, the clicks and the calls. Um, and within a coda, there's rhythm, and that's the, the relative timing between the clicks. Mm. Uh, there's tempo, uh, you know, how long it's going on for. Yeah. Ornamentation, they call, which is an extra little click um, that they add to the coda. And then rubato, which is modulation of tempo across consecutive codas in an exchange. So you can vary... Uh, you can get a lot of information yeah. by varying all those things. Lots of parameters. Um, and we know that the coders are used to maintain social bonds and coordinate activities of small groups of whales. So very useful. Yeah. And now what's happened is some biologists at Berkeley have been analysing the calls of whales recorded in the Caribbean off the coast of the island of Dominica. Uh, there were 15 um, female sperm whales and their they're yeah, young, they're cubs, and he said they're calves. calves. They're calves, uh, making these distinctive clicking calls. Um, and when they analysed the acoustic properties of these coda, they found like sounds in the spectrum that seem to resemble uh, and function the way humans use vowels. Right, OK, so they're, they're calling them vowels because uh, they have uh, mechanical properties um, in, in the acoustics that are similar to human vowel vocalisations. Yeah, yeah. And they, well, they even say that um, the, there's different kinds of coda mm. that they refer to as A vowels and another one that they call an I vowel. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's well, it's really exciting. Yeah. Um, this is obviously early work, but there's loads going on here, um, and it just is really building on work, especially in sperm whales, because mm. they have the, really the most complex abilities to form different noises and 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 to make a complex enough mm. communication system that you could call language. Um, and, and so I'm really excited to see machine learning getting going on all of this. Um, to help us decode it. Yeah, and you've sort of speculated for new scientists about when this is likely to happen. <laughs> how, how soon can we expect it, Rowan? Well, I, I actually think quite soon. Yeah. They've been communicating already with sperm whales mm. by replaying and, and listening back to what they say. It's just we don't know the meaning of it. Mm. So that's already going on. But my favourite story about this is um, from logbooks of whaling ships in the 19th century. And what they found, the whalers had found that um, the success rate was falling off um, quite dramatically after a few years. But, the success rate of their hunts. Yeah. Right. right yeah. Okay. Yep. But the hunters didn't know why. Um, what they figured out was that the whales have shared, were sharing tactics to thwart the hunters um, because this was um, sailboats, right? They were wind powered mm -hmm. and the whales learned to swim up wind of the whalers so they the, the whaling boats couldn't follow them uh, and they communicated this to other whales other uh, naive whales who'd never been hunted who then knew what to do when they were hunted uh, the power of information isn't it's it? absolutely uh, I just love that story um that was a few, from a few years ago it was in the royal society journal but now getting uh, machine learning to decode this stuff um it's going to be it's going to be amazing and we're going to Imagine what we can start talking to whales. Yeah, I can't wait. And uh, obviously you'll, you'll hear it here first, <laughs> I hope. Yeah. <laughs>